Hey guys, welcome to The Brick is Life, and today I wanted to share with you this Lego Harry Potter Back to Hogwarts Activities and Minifigure book. Um, I got this one at Five Below for $5, of course, um, yeah, but normally they're around $8.99, so yeah, I figured, well, $5 isn't so bad, so I figured, you know, put together the minifigure and take a little quick look at the book. So... Looks really cool. Um, I don't want to cut this, so I'm going to see if I can't get this out like I have on a couple of the other ones. <laughs> there we go. So, he's in a really cool package. Um, this will be the third Harry Potter that I have, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, is it taped? Nope. Okay, it's just really stuck in there. Uh, there we go. See, we got his legs and his torso. He's got a little printing. Oh, that one was tight. He's got printing for his for the house that he's in, Gryffindor. And then he's got a scared face. And a happy face. I think we'll put him on the happy face. And he does have the little scar above his forehead. And then the, the hair parts so that you can see it. Oh my goodness, this camera. There it is. There's a part in the hair for his, uh, for his little scar to peek through. Um, it also comes with the Daily Prophet, the boy who lived. Wow. Let's try that again. There you go. It's pretty cool. So he's got that. And then he also comes with a broomstick, of course. And Hedwig. She's really cute. And then he gives you two wands. But I already have an extra wand, so I don't want to break it off of this. So I'm just going to grab it from one of my other ones. Because I don't want to... Yeah. I've already taken one off of here, so I don't want to have to, you know, I want to keep those together so I don't lose them. Yeah, there he is. With his wand. That's pretty cool. Um, I like it that they give you the minifigures and stuff in the books. I mean, I think that's kind of cool. So, let's see what kind of book we got. It says, back to Hogwarts, and I guess there's the instructions on how to put the minifig together. It shows Hermione and Ron. <clears throat> and what's over there? Okay, so he's got to buy school supplies. So you need to figure out what he needs for class. And then here's a puzzle. you got to figure out which pieces are missing. And a color by number, I guess, or... Uh, yeah. So it's a color by number. Or color by color, sorry. There's no numbers. It's color by dot. So whatever color the dot is, is what color that piece should be. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's Hedwig, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Hedwig. Uh, so I guess you have to figure out the reflections. What's the difference between the reflections? And here's a sorting hat. And I guess you have to make... All of these symbols fit this way and this way in one one time each. So you have to have all four in each slot without the same repeating. That's pretty cool. Looks like a big piece of chocolate. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, the sorting hat. And then a staircase maze. That's pretty cool. And then I guess a number thing. Let's see, what is it? Uh, oh, got the, yeah, just sort that out. <laughs> and then, hmm, okay, there's more just little activities and stuff, things you have to figure out. I guess this one you have to draw here. 
Can you redraw his face? Uh, I guess find out which shadow belongs to her. Here's a word search. Um, I guess the teachers are mixed up and you have to figure out which pieces are mixed. Okay. And then, oh, Quidditch match. And you have to find the golden snitch, I guess. Find out where that's hiding. And I already found it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That was pretty obvious. And then you have to draw a line to match the photos with the, the big picture. Uh, I guess you have to put in the dominoes. And find Ron's howler. And then I guess you have to match these pictures with what you think they belong to. So that's kind of cool. Which animal? Um, oh, they're practicing the Patronus charms, and you have to figure out which one belongs to who. And then draw your own Patronus. This is a pretty cool book. I mean, it's not bad for $5. Oh, so now we're about halfway. Wow, this one's actually big. It's a big book. Uh, so you have to match the wrapping paper with the items, which I think that one's kind of easy. And then you have to do a maze. And here's another puzzle piece. Um, picture. you got to figure out where these pieces go into the puzzle. That's pretty cool. Uh, another one of those pattern shelf thingies, I guess. you got to figure out which one goes where. Each shelf can only hold one of the same potions, yes. You have to figure out which one is not on that shelf. And then you have to match the plants. You have to finish this puzzle. That's pretty cool. I really like how bright these pictures are. They're nice and colorful. They're not like, they don't look faded or anything. Or I mean, they're really nice and bright. Mm, draw a picture of your favorite memory, it says. I guess you have to put the library books back on the shelf where they belong. I guess you can have, they have to be exactly in the same place. Uh, there's a dot, <laughs> connect the dots. That's cool. I think that's nearly Headless Nick, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, and then here's another maze for the, the tunnels under the under Hogwarts. Oh, okay, you got to find the difference in the pictures. And here it says to finish drawing the picture, but it's very faded. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's very, very light writing here, so you could, like, fill it in yourself. And draw a phoenix and the basilisk. And then you can color in the Gryffindor symbol. And you have to figure out which one is not part of the sub uh, the subjects down below. Like for potions, what do you need for potions? Well the the broom you don't. For Quidditch, I guess all of that, but not the soccer ball. And then, care of magical creatures. I guess the cat. But see, the cat could be a magical creature too. Or is that is that a cat or is that a squirrel? No, it's a cat. I don't know why they have that there. It says care of magical creatures. I know these are, but a cat could be magical in their world. And then of course here's the answer page. Two side. And then this is the other half of the other thing to hold the uh, piece in. And then on the back. So yeah, this is a nice and bright book. It's really really cool. And that it came with a minifigure and all these parts. I mean, that's pretty nice. So, one, two, four, five, six, seven. Nine pieces, technically. That's not bad. So, yeah. Um, I'm glad I got it. Like I said, I don't know that I'd pay the full, you know, ten bucks for it or whatever. So, was it, eight ninety nine? So, I guess, plus tax, whatever. So, yeah. But five bucks wasn't too bad for it, for a minifig. You know, because normal minifigs are around, what, three ninety nine, if that. Um, so, yeah. So it was cool to get, like, you know, for an extra dollar, you get a you get a book. Yeah. So uh, I hope you guys uh, liked this video, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. So have a good day. Keep on bricking, and bye.